Okay, it's time for an update. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, so here's Pug. Take a look over here. Just gonna show you how it lines up. So this is that C30 that we took apart in the very beginning. And I put his his uh, walkway on, on here to see if I'm at the right height. And turns out, matched him up with this guy. We're gonna be right on on the height. In fact, we got a little little bit of room to uh, to make sure that our our walkway, which is a little bit thicker, it'll be, pl it'll be plenty enough clearance for that. All right, so that is that. Now let's take a look at what we got here. There is our first functioning locomotive. Right there. Uh, remember Pug, I miscalculated, and the 280 does not fit in Pug. 280 doesn't fit inside a Pug. It fits, but there's not enough room to, uh, the, the shafts would line right up next to each other, and you won't be able to turn it. I'm like, oh man, this is terrible, because we got, Pug is not a contest locomotive, but Pug's going to be there as the, as the example of what it took to get to the point where we got our finished ones. We gotta make Pug work though. He's just kind of interesting. Okay, so then it occurred to me that I do have an extremely beastly motor that's small. These guys. I don't know where all of them are. There are a bunch of them in locomotives. But I know that I, I need three of them. Because if I'm going to do a Mighty Calf, this is the guy. This one fits in there. Now, I don't know if you remember this one, but check this out. Okay, you see our big guy over there? Right there? Watch this. This is a 24-volt motor with super power torque. Okay. It's got a rare earth magnet in it. See that? Very powerful. It has a ton of torque. It takes a little bit of... You need to get up to about 3-4 volts. But in the Digitrax decoder that we're going to use, we can set a starting voltage. That's a setting I really haven't messed around with. That's what we can do with this. So there's that's gonna be pug right there now And there's one in here. He's getting a 280 because 280 fits in here And I'm gonna take this one out and use them for mighty calf or mini calf So now let's take a look. I know you want to see it Let's see What is happening here? <clears throat> there it is Okay, it's wired up for DC right at the moment I've made my working platforms the mega 280 platform has a hole. I'm going to put a bridge rectifier in there so I can have constant lights. Then we'll cut these PC boards up. They mount right in there. And this guy, when when the glue, the solvent is set up, I can take these screws out, and it fits right over there. And then I can put my I'll put my decoder right here, my rectifier right there, and my PC board right there. And then we'll use some disconnects and with lights and everything. It'll be really awesome. Anyways, it's time. We want to see it, don't we? Okay. Now, I set the gear tower in a ways so I could get the 15-inch radius. Problem with that is these things are super lightweight. So when you're moving one direction, it might lift up a little bit. The solution is got to add... It's got to have weight on it, which we will add. We got plenty. So let's see if it works, huh? Want to see it work? Very nice slow speed. So that's at like 20% power.
I don't want those weights to fall off. It, it's not super fast. And we'll figure out a way to get those weights, those weights in there we're gonna have enough room. But that's it, we made it. We're here now. We have a working locomotive built from scratch. It's got kind of a beastly growl to it. I don't know what squeaks in there. It's something against, it's one of them shafts on the acrylic. We'll figure it out. We'll put a little bit of air tool oil on it. All right, let's have them cross the switch. If we can do it with balancing them weights on there. See if we can go across a six to a four. His weight shifted and he came, okay. Let's go back, let's back up. That switch is so beat up. I'm surprised anything works on it. It's wobbly and wait, yeah, see, it's not even in gauge right there. It's not right here where you stuck. I've done a bunch of filing and stuff there. Yeah, to fit, I'll have to take, those are just old snap switches. There he is. Beauty. We're rolling now. 